drugs and water report prompts nationwide alarm. Hearing set for April as consumers react with shock. Full scale of crisis not realized. A study conducted by the Associated Press, which found that numerous pharmacological drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, have contaminated the water supplies of millions of Americans, has provoked nationwide alarm, causing consumers and experts alike to react with shock. But the true scale of the problem may not have fully been realized. Well, there's no may about it. A five-month Associated Press investigation has determined that trace amounts of many pharmaceuticals we take to stay healthy. Listen to that spin from the AP, like Prozac and Ritalin. This is so sick. Are seeping into water supplies, and a growing body of research indicates this could harm humans, states the report. At least 13 different medications, from antidepressants like Prozac to six hormones, have been discovered in drinking water of 41 million Americans, a number likely to be far higher considering the fact that all water districts were not tested and some went to great lengths to keep their results secret. Yeah, in the report, most of them are secret. And uh, I would uh, add that they would just say other drugs and wouldn't say what they were. Consumers nationwide reacted with shock to the reports without realizing that they were already being mass-medicated against their will in many water districts by way of sodium fluoride being added to the water supplies without their consent. New revelations of pharmaceuticals in water will only increase pressure on water districts to remove sodium fluoride or potentially, on the flip side, accelerate a drive to add it before consumers have a chance to say no. This is all the more uh, prescient, considering the fact that recent Scientific American report concluded that scientific attitudes towards fluoridation may be starting to shift as new evidence emerges on the poisons linked to disorders affecting teeth, bones, the brain, and the thyroid gland, as well as lowering IQ. And then they link to a study that says 20 points. That's where I got that. Then I say that in a YouTube video, and people freak out and say I'm a liar, and there's 2,000 comments debating it. Just go to the source documents, dummies. This is serious, okay? Stop being, stop acting like you're dumb. I'm, I don't mean our listeners, but those out there in YouTube land and the rest of it. This is serious. The Philadelphia Water Department was um, flooded with calls from alarmed residents despite officials denying there was any risk after the Associated Press revealed that traces of 56 pharmaceuticals or byproducts had been found in the city drinking water. Yeah, it's hundreds. It's 56 in that one water supply. New York City lawmakers were similarly disturbed by the new evidence, promoting questions as to why the program was not divulged to the public earlier. Well, wait a minute. For as long as I've been doing talk radio, there's AP reports every year about the drugs in the water. This is just now getting attention because the web is spreading it now. Because, see, the AP used to report on this, but it would never get in the papers. Remember, 10 years ago on the Newswire, you'd see this stuff every year. This is very alarming. We need to add to this story about all the frogs and fish that are becoming sterile or both sexes because of it, showing it's in high levels. This is very alarming. A member of the City Council's Committee on Environmental Protection, Peter Vallone of Queens, said rather than sitting back and, and being informed about this, New York City should have been proactive. I would hope we institute some sort of testing as soon as possible. New York environmental organization Riverkeeper described the report as a wake-up call and demanded the government immediately conduct a federally funded national study to provide risk assessments for pharmaceuticals in waters and measure the potential harm to aquatic health effects that's already been done. In Pittsburgh, the story of resonated with local experts who are concurrently studying the effects of estrogen contamination is having on fish where in some cases 85% are found to be genderless, 85%. Of course, then your kids are drinking this. You wonder why your 3-year-old daughter looks like she's 15. You wonder why your 15-year-old son is a girl. The plastics, all of it, folks, the estrogen-mimicking chemicals. Dr. Dan Volts from the University of Pittsburgh says the dumping of cleaning products and cosmetics down drains is contributing to the crisis. Marion Honorwit State Director of the Clean Water Action said, we know that there is a problem in Pittsburgh, and it goes on and on. Now, the larger issue here, and Paul gets into that at the end, is chemicals. 
We need to integrate that into a bigger article. Paul, you're only writing three stories a day and webmastering and doing customer service is not enough. I'm joking. Paul's incredible. But what we need to point out here is this is the key, that if you add the parts per billion together, it becomes parts per million. It's hundreds of drugs, thousands of chemicals. It is a toxic soup. And I heard Dr. Dina Dell, who's on like 500 radio stations, Last week, saying conspiracy theorists say the water isn't good, the tap water is the best water in the world, we have the best water, it's totally clean and delicious. I mean, this is like saying the moon's made out of cheese. Okay, you must filter your water. You must filter. Reverse osmosis gets about 90% out. Uh, what I do is I feed it through reverse osmosis, and then I send it through a big Berkey on top of it. Because Berkey's get about 95% out. This stuff is all so powerful, it goes through everything. you got to have double PF2 filters added on just to reduce the fluoride down to 99.9%. Even reverse osmosis can't stop fluoride, it's so small. Uh, I mean, we are, and by the way, if you think that's all, they have been caught adding stuff to the water. This is not by accident. I remember a story like eight years ago where they found three or four parts per million of Prozac in the water. I want to say it was Dallas. That's why Dallas didn't allow a study to be done. I'm going from memory here, but look it up. You'll find it's accurate. But that's ancient memory, so check it. But I know that they found, and they said this can't be urine. This can't be pills. This can't be. How are we having three, four, five parts per million Prozac? Folks, it's being put in the water. We know in uh, other countries, uh, a few of the Asian countries, they've been caught doing it. Well, they put sodium fluoride in when they knew in the 20s it was a toxic sedative. So Paul Watson's done a great job uh, with this story uh, that gives you the, a lot bigger picture, not just the the, the Austin American Statesman yesterday. i got to dig that out. I saw it, never covered it. Said that they can't tell you what's in the water because Homeland Security says Al-Qaeda might use that information. What does that mean? The Statesman's so bad in town, all the other papers would tell you what the AP said, and it was a whitewash itself, and the Statesman said, we cannot let you know, and said Al-Qaeda. I'm not joking. You can't make stuff like this up. 